Hello, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to introduce the new spatial harmonic PM motor model. Uh, so without really beating around the bush too much, let's run the simulation with the model and see the torque that is generated by this motor. Uh, and we can also take a quick peek at the uh, currents. So this is the results of that simulation. We uh, see the torque generated in this case, and then the harmonic content um, that is related to the spatial harmonic effect that is uh, being shown here. And we also see the same sort of ripple and impact on the current waveforms. Um, so this motor model is, is new. So we can look at how that gets generated. So this is a, a list of the parameters. So the first set are, are basically the same as the regular uh, PM motor model that we have uh, with linear LDLQ. In this particular instance, we now have a, a number of additional information here. Uh, this is uh, giving us the voltages uh, and the harmonic content for the open circuit voltages. Um, so this is what we're using to determine the, the spatial harmonics. And those, we can see what happens if we turn them off. So these are the parameters that we're using for the spatial harmonics. Um, so we can just turn this flag to 1. And we should see the same simulation now, but with idealized uh, waveforms. And that's what we see here now. So now we see uh, the ideal waveform. So we can turn those spatial harmonics back on and then run this simulation again. So to define um, the spatial harmonics, you need to run your motor in open loop beforehand and do an FFT on the phase voltage uh, output there, and then essentially just sort of fill in the information here. Um, you'll notice that there are some uh, there's positive and negatives here. So this has to do with the phase of the, of the, of the harmonic. So if it's got uh, zero phase, it's adding. If it's got a phase of 180 degrees, then it's subtracting. I won't go over how to determine this in this particular uh, video. We're just sort of introducing the motor model at this point. Um, so your next question is, well, how good is it? That is a great question. And for comparison, we are going to compare that with the same machine model, uh, but with a uh, real-time JMAG model. So this model is a JMAG uh, RT file. Uh, so JMAG being an FEA finite element analysis tool, and that uh, will is a, is a simulation tool that runs with PSIM. And we can run this uh, model now and look to see what its uh, torque output is compared to PSIM. So already we can notice that the PSIM model runs a little bit faster. So we did a full simulation in PSIM in about four seconds. The JMAG RT model is taking took 15 seconds. Um, and let's pull up the torque ripple here, and we can compare the two. So let's uh, drop. So this is for the same 80 second milliseconds of simulation. We can see that the peak is not quite the same. So in the piece of model, it's a little bit uh, lower. And then the actual amplitude over here, it's a little bit uh, of the ripple is a little bit higher. But otherwise, the general shape is, is there for us. Um, and the main harmonic content is, is there. Uh, we can zoom in on this. We still see that the, the ripple from the switching action is still there. Um, the same is, can be said on the RT model. Uh, but essentially, we're, we're getting a very similar um, harmonic content. So I've merged the two torque curves, actually, and we're looking at the uh, FFT of those now. And we can see the harmonic content and how that uh, aligns with the, uh, the two of them. So in the top pane here, we're looking at a red and a blue line. The red is the JMAGRT results. The blue line is from the piece of spatial harmonics model. Uh, we can look at the harmonic content and how it compares. And then in the, in the bottom screen here, we just have the piece of spatial harmonics model by itself. And we can see that uh, there's quite good agreement here. Uh, there's a little less noise in the piece model versus the RT model, but the main harmonics are there for us to look at. Um, additionally, we can pull up and change and bring up the current information. So let's just look at uh, 
a single phase of the currents by themselves. So, so here's the uh, current information uh, for the uh, phase A uh, current. We can see the main harmonic is there, the main amplitude is there. Uh, we see a difference between the two currents um, in, in magnitude here, but the harmonic content is there and agrees with the, with the other model. Uh, one thing to consider between the difference here is that the PSIM uh, special harmonics model is a linear inductor and the uh, JMAG RT model has uh, nonlinear uh, magnetics. Uh, so that's one thing to, to, to think about. Um, obviously something that we can add for a, another model. So that's a look at, at the actual results in comparison and the harmonic content of them. And uh, without having to use an FEA tool um, to, to generate the, the information for us. So that's just a quick look at the model. Uh, we will get into more details in, 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 in other videos, but it's the main announcement of this video is just to introduce this PM uh, motor model with, with spatial harmonics. And the harmonic content is, is determined by running an open circuit, running in the open circuit of the actual motor and extracting uh, via FFT the voltage harmonics given here. Okay? Uh, tune in, uh, keep around for more tutorial videos and more videos that cover the release of this new motor model.